Hi guys, welcome to Luxa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with Packer on Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the last session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Packer and its use cases. So Packer is an open source tool by Hashiko, which helps us in building identical machine images, which is the snapshot of machine that includes the operating system and all other install software. Now the question comes into our mind is why Packer? Because it supports cross platform. One of the most important advantage of using Packer is that we can build machine images for multiple platform from a single file. And automation is there. Packer can be made as a part of CI/CD pipelines to automate the process of building images. And version control is there. Package Packer configure uh, config can be version controlled giving us the ability to even roll back at any previous version of an image right so these are the few important parts which we, through which we can uh, say to everybody hey go with the packer and it's it's a very wonderful utility right so let's jump to the jump to the lab session and we'll see how it is beneficial for our environment right so let me go with my virtual box first yeah so guys this is my linux terminal uh, let me show you the OS release version of this machine so currently I'm using rel 9.1 and let's talk about the prerequisite of this lab we need a Linux box with Terraform install software uh, because later on whatever the AMI image we are going to be dip, build up with the Packer we will launch easy to install right so Packer tool second thing is Packer tool required and third one is we need AWS credentials for AC2 deployment right so let's start one by one let's install the Terraform in this Linux box and move to the Google and search it uh, install Terraform from the official website right so I'm here. Let me go with the base string. Uh, see install Terraform. Go with the Terraform first. Go with the first link and scroll down. Yes, the Linux and what Linux? Send to us. So just copy and paste and follow the simple steps. First of all, install yumutils package. Right click copy and paste. So here's the yumutils install. Local repository should be configured. So I have already done, done that. And now go with the second part. Second part is add the HashiCorp official repository using mconfig manager command line tool. So it's added successfully. And now third is sorry, third is install Terraform. So just copy and paste yum install Terraform, right? So this is how guys we can easy easily way we can install Terraform and let it be installed. Then we will check the official version of Terraform and let's see so currently is 1.4 okay let it be complete first taking a little bit time let it be complete Ninety-nine and done. Okay. Let's check the version. Terraform version. Okay, install. Why version one point four point six? Okay. Now let's install the Packer tool from the official website. So one more time, take that from Google. Simple install Packer this time. Okay, go with the new tab. Here's the steps. Just follow. Go with the Linux and send to us rel yum utils. I've already done that. Repository I have already done that. So just simple click yum install Packer. So just click yum install Packer. Okay, started. Now, uh, till it is going to be installed, let's move to the next step, which is create one IAM user with the permission and security credentials, right? So let me log into my AWS Amazon.com. 
sign into console login with username and password okay 57 Okay, well, let me log in with user ID and password. Okay. So guys, you can see that this is my AWS console and currently I'm logging in Mumbai region, right? So let me go to the IEM section and make one demo user with EC2 full access for this lab, right? So I am open a new tab. Let's check the status of yeah package install packer hyphen hyphen version 1.9.1 perfect. Even we can go with packer hyphen hyphen help for more information, right? These are the commands which go with packer, right? So click on the user, let me make a user, say demo, demo new user, okay, go to the next, attach the policy, scroll down, which policy, EC2 full access, so EC2 full access, okay, go to the next, scroll down, create user, and let's make it successfully so click on the view user user created successfully and just go to the security credentials and add access key and secret key right so create access key from here go with the command line utility cli face accept next description demo user create access key so here's the access key and the secret key right so let me write down copy this access key secret key in my notepad file later on i need this one even i can download it also but i don't require this one because later on i will remove this user right so let me copy and let me open my notepad file so this is the secret and now secret access key copy access key and this is the secret key okay save it so now done successfully continue okay i have successfully created one user now click on the ec2 dashboard let's check the current condition whether currently is there is ec2 instances running condition or stop condition so let me check i have two ec2 instances and loading okay both are intermediate okay not a big deal that's good so now come back on the linux box i'm in the box now move to the next tab which is write a packer template file right so i am in my terraform box and let me make a project folder first p-r-o-j-e-c-t project one let me move inside that one and let me make example dot json file right so uh, for the, now here I will make my first packer template file for time saving purpose I have my template file let me copy the code from there and try to explain each and everything from there, from from over there right so let me copy this entire line safely and make a JSON file paste it save and quit okay so let me try to explain one by one each and everything right so the packer file template file use json format and it consists of three main part builder here you can see that variables builder and provisional right so let's talk about the variable first this is the important part variable this section would contain the list of variable you need to use or need across other section on the packer template json file it is always a good practice to use variable and referring the variable uh, name across the builder and provisioners as using a variable would make your packer template easy to understand and to modify and update it in future for new requirements so in our case we have set our aws access key id as secret key as the variable and we have defined it to be taken from the environment variable for additional security so in the first section i use 
वेरिएबल ही है वेरिएबल ए डब्ल्यू एस एक्सेस की एंड ए डब्ल्यू एस सीक्रेट की है लेटर ऑन आई विल एक्सप्लेन ए डब्ल्यू एस एक्सेस की आई डी एंड सीक्रेट की आई डी यूजिंग इन्वायरमेंट वेरिएबल यूजिंग द एक्सपोर्ट कमाउ राइट सी ए डब्ल्यू एस एक्सपोर्ट एंड द आई डी एंड सीक्रेट की एंड एक्सेस की कैन बी कॉपीड फ्राम हेयर ऑटोमेटिकली राइट सो यू कैन यूज मैनी मोर वेरिएबल्स इन द सेक्शन एज पर यू नीड इन द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन आई यूज बिल्डर दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट गाइज बिल्डर so from 6 to 18 you can see this is the builder so builder means what here we have defined what image we are going to create and for which technology or platform we are going to create an image for like aws docker virtual box open stack etc right based on the builders the configuration elements we use in the section would vary packer support various builder like ec2 vimware virtual box etc and it can be expanded to various other new products and technologies so let me explain all line one by one in the builder section first of all we have a top first line is type so the first one is the builder type we are only configure a single builder of type amazon ebs here this is the amazon e ec2 ami builder that ships with packer uh, the this builder builds an ebs back AMI by launching a source AMI provisioning on top of that and repacking it into a new AMI. Second one is access key and secret key. This one access key and the secret key, right? And these key is used to communicate with the AWS. Third one is a reason, reason string. So the name of the reason such as AP South one in my case in which to launch the EC2 instance to create the AMI. Fourth one is source AMI. This is important, guys. Source AMI means this the initial AMI used as a base for newly created machine. Source AMI filter may be used instead of populate this automatically. Currently, I am taking Ubuntu base images in my scenario. next one is instance type instance type means the ec2 instance types to use uh, while building the ami such as t2.small in my case i go with t2.micro or uh, micro or anyone right as such username that is what this uh, sex one is the username and the tag as a username and the tag right so the name of the resulting ami that uh, the Uh, sorry uh, as such username is the username of instance for me it's uh, ubuntu and my uh, my tag image name is packer underscore demo underscore instance with the timestamp right this is the important part we have and last one is ami name which i have told you this is, should be unique right and uh, this is packer demo images with the timestamp now in this section uh, in the next section i'll go with the provisioner so if i go scroll down provisioner see provisioner means uh, provisioner use built in and third party software to install and configure the machine images after booting so provisioner prepare the system for use so common use case for provisioner include could be installing package patching the kernel creating user download application code so packer has support of huge set provisioner which we we can use like ansible shift puppet windows powershell linux shell etc right so each provisioner will have set of the options required to be set in order from them to work so here i'm using shell provisioner shell provisioning uh, is the easiest way to get software installed and configure on machine so here i'm using sleep command you can see that sleep command for 30 second and after that update the package and install docker software for my golden ami images right so this is all about this uh, this uh, template file uh, all set let's why did a packer image file json file using the packer validate command so let me save and quit and we will run the command packer packer validate v a l i d a t e validate example dot json so okay see the configuration is valid it means you got templates validate successfully matches then you are good now move to the next step which is build an image using the packer from the template json file right template json file so now it is the time to build the image from the template we have created already we should use the packer build command following followed by the json file name to the build image but before going to do that let me add credentials into the user.bashrc file so what i will do i will go to the bashrc file go to the bottom and write down my access key secret key and reason safely copy safely from there and paste it here and let me update it also perfect now final run the packer build command so packer build and the file name example.json okay started output will be in this color green okay i love it so the above image shows that starting step that is run using the .json file this will build your ami with packer so be aware that this may take some time as packer spin up 
an instance using the defined source AMI property, right? So just wait for a couple of minutes, let it be complete. Once it complete, we will see that, that our new AMI, uh, AMI golden image is available in my, AC2, uh, in my EC2 dashboard, right? So let it be complete first, then we will start. Okay, just wait. See, as such connecting, connected, okay. Now shall script. Provenize with shell. It will take three to four minutes. So I'm not going to guys pause this video. Let's see all the steps. Because this is very important output, right? So we need to focus here. See, okay, it's updating the image. Perfect. Amazon EBS created symbolic link, created link. Okay. Stopping the source instance, waiting to waiting for the instance to stop. See, Docker is there. It means it's working, right? Okay, let it be complete. Creating, waiting for AMIB to become ready. Yeah, instance ID is there. Cool. This is the thing which I'm looking for, right? Packer demo image. You can see that. coming up So image ID is there, so that means if what happened, let me go with the my AWS dashboard. If I go to, let me refresh, first of all, go to the machine images AMI is there. Yeah, see, Packer demo images, right? Here's the gold image with our tag, perfect. Yeah. It's working. Okay. Let me refresh. See, currently setting down, terminated automatically. And see, adding the tag, OS version, packet demo instance. Boom, wow, great. We got the AMI ID. So you, our build skills, you can now use your newly created AMI ID to spin up the C2 instance. Here the last line would give your AMI image ID, which would vary for everyone. So you must use yours and keep it safe as we will need it for the Terraform. And I have already told you, I have already shown you that if you go with the AMI, here we can see our golden AMI image is ready, packet demo image ID, right? The account name. Now, let's move to the last tab which is building aws ec2 instance using terraform and use this golden ami image now we have created the aws ami image using the packer by now you can actually see your images in the ami section on the aws management console we have already seen that right now let us see how to create ec2 instance using terraform let me create my main.tf file and let me call and go to the code so i have a small code here 
so let me copy this one and paste it here and I need to replace the image ID right which image ID I'm talking about this image, image ID my golden image ID so I can copy it from here let it be modify one more time and simple paste so right click paste it perfect so now uh, here's my the code let me initialize the terraform my 90 okay let me go and try to explain this code one more time even terraform in it is going to be running in the new tab so uh, here's my main code where I'm using my golden AMI image ID and Mumbai key is already there in my AWS dashboard let me try to show you if I go to the EC2 dashboard under the key pair here is my coming up okay here's my Mumbai key right so once I deploy this code it will launch new T2 macro EC2 instance with with tag what is the tag name demo server right and uh, let's initialize the terraform initialization so I'll save and quit initialization is in process is in progress see version 5.1.0 download latest API and then uh, after the initialization is complete I will go with terraform plan command and then apply command right and then we will cross verify whatever the docker uh, whatever the uh, image we have created with the packer it's there or not our ct instance got the uh, pre-default docker or not right so just wait let it be complete so currently there is a no EC2 instance on stop condition or in running condition right let it be complete then we'll do that but I hope guys picture is a little bit clear how packer is work how we can make the golden AMI image with the packer utility right just wait packer demo image is private available platform Linux Unix EBS block devices this one okay perfect even I can select I can share it see I can copy I can deregister from here also even I can uh, deregister from the command line tool also so at the end I will let you know how to register this it's very easy Let's let it be complete first it's taking too much time Initialization stalling has to go up. AWS v5.1.0. Okay, just wait, let it be complete. Might be today I have slow internet connection, so that's why I take too much time. Okay. Now it's complete successfully. Let's me go with Terraform plan command. See, okay, if I go with this one, one is going to be add. Perfect. Terraform A double P apply auto approve. So soon you will see. <coughs> sorry guys new c2 instance in here instance side okay see 
started demos always there right so it's working let it be complete first then we will check our docker version right still creating refresh okay okay now it's complete data form state list source is there right and we can cross verify from the console also let me connect to this ec2 instance and verify our username is root guys remember right let me check docker is there or not Low internet connectivity. Let me connect one more time. Or might be it's a still initialization state. That's why. Yep. Okay. No problem. What I can do? I'll call open the git bash from here. And let me check from here also. Right. So now go back open the client utility let me copy the path right click and paste if it is ready we can connect it from here also let me check from one more time now it's still taking some time Okay, let me refresh three select connect. No, okay. Oh, let me check one more time sport 22 is not open okay let me check string it should be on let me check in the security group Easy to dashboard. No, it's not connecting. Okay, not a big deal. Let me check in the security. Go to the security group. By default, it should be available. Yep, it is there. All traffic. So, all traffic is allowed. Okay, let me check from here one more time. If all it is allowed, then it should work. Let me check with UBU and TU. It's a Ubuntu machine, so I hope so. I'll go with the Ubuntu. Let me check. Or I can do one more thing I can add no it's not there okay guys give me one second oh, let me add this inbound role something is wrong with my security group might buy okay go with anywhere okay okay let me delete this one add all rule go with the SSH Okay, save this rule. 
now let's check instance demo connect connect strange okay let me yep it is there perfect docker hyphen hyphen version even if i go with right now from here should work also that means something is going wrong with my hey please log in as the user ubuntu rather than the user root right i told you that's why okay not a big deal we can change the username because it's ubuntu mi right so u b u n t o ubuntu ip address and login it's uh, ubuntu rather than user u b u n t u u b u n t u type error okay yep i'm logging sudo and now you can see that docker hyphen hyphen version docker is there right guys and suppose if you want to terminate this one it's very easy again we what we can do we can run go back on the terraform box we can destroy using the terraform destroy command right d e s t r o y destroy and this is how you can destroy the your instance and if you want to remove the uh, your golden image id here's the path d register for that one right so aws you can open a new tab paste it aws ec2 d register image and image id right what is my image id let me copy from my main.tf file this is the image id we can copy save quit from there right click and paste i'm not i'm not going to press enter until this, it will not destroy let it be complete first then we will do that right so even if i go back on my ec2 dashboard if i go to the ec2 instance let it be refresh see currently under the ami here's the ami right so let me deregister this one also okay let me see yeah still deleting just wait let it be complete then we will deregister okay now we can press enter it successfully deregistered until unless uh, the instance is not deleted it will give you error right it is in use now refresh see it's gone easy to refresh see all terminated successfully right guys so uh, finally this is the quick introduction of packer and terraform and there are numerous advanced use cases for terraform and it's widely used on the industry right now for the iac point of view hope this gives some basic idea on the terraform and packer and for more information about packer i will share the documentation link in the references guys that's all about this demo i hope this step uh, help you to set up packer on linux smoothly please do share your valuable feedback and comments on my described links and soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then take keep practicing if you have seen something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye